Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Aries January 6, 2023. You have Jupiter in a private, background area of your solar chart, and you more frequently crave repose, reflection, and rest. With Venus at the top of your chart, however, you're getting noticed. Venus harmonizes with Jupiter today, and you're somehow making all of this work. Activities that are healing, private, or intimate are in great shape right now, and so are endeavors that connect you with others or your higher goals. You readily draw upon support from behind the scenes or your wisdom and intuition today. You're inclined to interact in healthy ways, and you're attracted to experiences that help reinforce your feelings of faith in a person, your talents, or a cause. The stars are aligning today and tomorrow, and they could bring the sudden surprise in your romantic life that you've been praying for. As the mighty sun sizzles on the mountaintops of a fellow sign, he will glance back to electric Uranus who is smiling in your solar first house of identity and zodiac sign. This ensures that you could feel like a bolt of lightning is electrifying your heart. Take chances and put yourself out there, if single. Go on a first date with someone who fascinates you or who is not your normal type. If committed, be impulsive and wild as you sweep your sweetheart off of their feet. What do you want to pursue? It might be time to get out of your head when Venus in Aquarius sextiles Jupiter in Aries. Your career and professional status could flourish if you are willing to go outside of your comfort zones. There are so many incredible ideas and opportunities that you might be dying to jump on. So, think of today's sextal as your perfect opportunity to take a leap of faith, especially if you have been waiting for your chance to do something unique or unconventional. Be courageous. The moon is not only making its first visit to your income sector for the year or the last while Mars is in retrograde motion here, but its only visit while Venus, the planet of money is in your career sector. This is also helping to connect and amplify a growing alliance between planets on the income, work and career fronts that is set to tighten over the coming days and weeks. Waking up feeling good is a priceless feeling. To make this happen more often, take extra care at bedtime. Floss and brush your teeth, take care to have enough water during dinner so that you digest your meal properly during the night and try to do some simple stretching before bedtime so that your body is more deeply relaxed as it rests. Take care to drink water first thing in the morning as well, to continue the healthy digestive process. On a day like this you may find a lot of intensity in various areas of your life. Your dependable nature will truly benefit you in both business and personal relationships. Your loyalty to the important people your life will be recognized. Your dedication to the success of these relationships will bring you your just desserts. Do not indulge any uncertainties in these areas because the diligence you show to your partners is self-evident. The moon is not just making its first visit to your income sector for the year or its last while Mars is in retrograde motion here, but the only visit while Venus is in your career sector. As the planet of money, Venus is using this to her advantage as she moves into the final three weeks of a mission to fuel your professional confidence, attract opportunities, and steer things in a lucrative direction. At the same time, the planets Venus left behind in an adventurous part of your chart two days are also gathering strength. With Venus gone from an adventurous part of your chart, the key to keeping the spirit of romance and adventure alive is working with the planets that have stayed behind. One of those planets is Mercury, who in his first full week in retrograde motion in an adventurous part of your chart is not only working to keep the spirit of adventure alive but a sense of nostalgia as well. Our eyes in the sky. Venus in Aquarius connects with Jupiter in Aries this morning. When these two connect, it brings a pleasant vibe and makes all our feelings seem bigger. Venus in Aquarius and Jupiter in Aries push us to address humanitarian causes. These planets in these particular signs urge us to take steps to heal the ills of the world. Our hearts are expanding to encompass many spaces and places and send love to anyone in the universe who is in need of a little TLC. In the pre-dawn hours, the Gemini Moon Trine series in Libra, 
inclining us to nurture others through just and fair action. We show others we care, but we put an equal premium on telling them we care too. In fact, the best way to support those we love now may be for us to act as a sounding board for their ideas. Knowing when to offer advice, and when to ask questions to help them refine their opinions, is how we shine. Try to stay as impartial as possible, and request that others do the same for you. We aren't trying to convince others to think like us, but to express their own perspective as thoughtfully as possible. You experience what at first appears to be a rather critical state of affairs. Above all, do not allow the situation to get out of control or become overwhelmed. React calmly and thoughtfully to anything that appears to be unpleasant or combined with the feelings they create, these disturbances soon blow over without real damage. Take good care of your health. It will be hard interacting with people today. You overreact to the smallest things and feel completely misunderstood. It would do you good to take a step back, clear your thoughts and start tackling the arguments in a calmer way. Before noon, the moon aligns with retrograde Mars in Gemini, offering us bravery. We can stand up for ourselves and defend others if the situation calls for it. We know how best to advocate for a cause using words as tools and not as weapons. Although we may get a bit reactive now, remember that irritation can be channeled into physical activities. Feeling especially frustrated with someone's choices? Consider writing them a letter detailing your concerns, but don't send it. Pause and return to read the letter later in the evening when you have calmed down and have a clearer head. After midnight, Venus in Aquarius sextiles Jupiter in Aries, prompting lucky meetings. We run into people who can help us get ahead. These individuals may give us a leg up financially or make introductions with those in high places. The opportunities we achieve now seem serendipitous. We just happen to be in the right place at the right time to seize them. Yet, if we take a long view, we'll see that we're really reaping the rewards of good karma. This is an excellent time to accept a travel or educational offer. We may meet someone who has the potential to become a love interest. If we are already in a relationship, this transit improves rapport with our partner. Be grateful for having someone in your life who allows you to be exactly who you are, yet still encourages you to reach for the stars. In the late afternoon, the Gemini moon trines Saturn in Aquarius, providing maturity and resolve. We have a knack for seeing problems from multiple angles, which allows us to avoid becoming overly biased. Our objective, level-headed approach gives people confidence in our opinions and abilities. Others may seek us out for advice. Discussions with teachers and elders can steer us in optimal directions. Remember, you are never too old to learn something new.